Hello, I'm Abyx Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. So, I want to talk about one of the coolest changes that was brought in with TU41 that was kind of overshadowed by the brand new Tumble Mini game and the brand new maps for Battle Mini game, one of which I'm on right now, by the way, uh, because it is a bunch of brand new items for Battle that kind of make the battles a bit more varied. So, I figured I would share with you all of the items so you can see them in practice, so you can know whether they're good, bad, whether you should pick them up, just to kind of give you a refresher on, you know, what's worth picking up and what's not in Battle Mini game. So, hopefully, you do all enjoy today's video talking about the items. If you do all like it, like it, let me know because it helps out the channel lot and lets me do like these sort of videos, giving you some tips and hints on Battle Mini Game, in particular with the new items, because there is a bunch of these brand new items. Some of them are pretty good, some of them are like, oh yeah, I guess that's okay. And one of the best examples of this, by the way, has to be the snowball. So snowballs are found in stacks of 16 in the uh, opening chest, from what I can tell, and they seem to be, uh, uh, you know, without saying it, you know, impolitely, near useless. So these are really useful if you want to keep people away from you, which admittedly is something you want to do sometimes, uh, because they actually do do a knockback, unlike they do in other versions of the game, which is kind of useful. So, just like this, as you can see, aha, I'm knocking the person back, and isn't that clever? But, you know, beyond just knocking someone back, they don't do anything. They do no damage, and uh, realistically, they're only here if you want, like, a spam thing to just keep people away, because you can fire these really, really fast, and if you want to, you can guarantee knocking someone off. However, besides knocking someone back, they don't have too much use, and honestly, I'd recommend them being a nice thing if you have nothing else, but as far as compared to everything else here, not so great. So let's move on to an item that I think is a bit better because it is the fire charge. So the fire charge is back with a vengeance. You used to find these in chests with, uh, you know, TNT. You got three of them, but they weren't really necessary because the TNT primed itself, so I assumed it was like an early development thing, and they removed it in one of the very first updates, and basically for the longest time, you haven't been able to set people on fire. However, these have come back, and uh, they seem to be like just a regular, you know, thing you find in chests or refilled chests, and the reason these are so cool is because they set people on fire, and they make what seems to be permanent fire. Oh, wait, let's, let's do it properly. They seem to be like, uh, you know, permanent fire, which is pretty cool if you ask me. So, you can use it to, of course, set people on fire like this, which is really, really handy. I mean, if they're fishing, it's going to be... <laughs> it's obviously a lot easier when they're fishing, but still, you get 10 of these fires to make, and again, this can do some really powerful stuff, like blocking off the center of the map. If you do it cleverly, I mean, I, I just made a weird circle there, but still, that's something you can do. So, as you can see, Merg vs. Prime has just fished up, <laughs> you know, a stick with his fishing rod, which is pretty cool here. But yeah, let's move on to the next uh, weapon, which has been added with, uh, you know, TU uh, 30, 41. I'm terrible at names. Because it is the diamond pickaxe. So as you can see, all my fires are still there. No matter what I do, the fires will always be there for me. But anyway, uh, yeah, the diamond pickaxe is another brand new weapon they've added. And this one is really cool, if you ask me, because of the fact that it's basically a vanilla version of the stone sword or the iron axe. Which means if you have some of those one, one of those weapons, you can kind of compete with them if you get this. So yeah, it's another kind of equal weapon, which uh, I, I guess it's kind of boring because it's just an enchanted. But if you just want to do some strong damage and attack someone, as you can see, four hits to kill. Um, that seems to be like even through arm right there. It's a really, really powerful weapon, like the other two, and it's one of the most powerful weapons in battle. Not perhaps the most, for reasons we'll go into later, but yeah, that is the diamond pickaxe right there. It's pretty darn good. So let's move into the next game. Look at that. So five hits, 20 damage, really, really quick stuff. So I mentioned how it wasn't the most powerful weapon in battle anymore, and you might be thinking, so what is more powerful? And you can already see in my inventory, it is a diamond sword. So I think this is actually one of these things I suggested in one of my battle suggestion videos, a diamond sword with really, really low durability. And it's interesting, they added this in the same time as nerfing a lot of other weapons and introducing this weird kind of like weapon ecosystem, which means now it's not just, okay, you get the guy with the stone sword and he kind of wrecks that way. If you get a diamond sword, you can hide it and you can do some cool stuff. So just kind of test right now. Let's see how many durabilities it actually has. Again, this does seven attacks attack damage, so that means if we hit someone, it's literally, you know, 1.4 times more uh, powerful than something else, so one hit, two hit, and then it's broken. So that means, in theory, if you get two jump hits, you can kill someone, you know, right off the bat of that, but it's not going to be too powerful with those against situations, and uh, un unless you combine it with strength, that is. So yeah, the the Diamond Sword is now the most powerful combo piece, but it's not an amazing weapon in its own right, because you get two durability, that might go up and down, you know, some based on games, but it's, uh, you know, kind of that in its own little right. So yeah, um, as well as this being the fourth item, I think I mentioned that the Shears have been nerfed to sharpness too. So instead of these being one of the best items you can find, better than a wooden sword, now they're just like, ah, oh, I guess they're, they're okay. I'm going to hit someone with shears. And yeah, that's something you want to bear in mind. As well as a new most powerful item, they've also nerfed one of the previous most powerful items, which is, you know, important stuff to know. So let's move on to the next, uh, you know, item they've added. Okay, so the final item I wanted to show off today is actually the Diamond Shovel. So this is a brand new item they've added into Battle Mini Game, and the really cool thing about this is even though it's just the strength of a wooden sword, it has knockback 2 on it. So not just knockback 1, which is the best we currently have, it's knockback 2, and this is of course amazing for knocking people off high perches, and even if you're just on a... <laughs> don't fake parkour like that, but even if you're on like a relatively wide perch, like you know, 3 blocks wide, you can still knock someone all the way that way, which is amazing. You combine this with a good sprint, and look at the distance I'm, you know, making him travel, he goes flying off the edge 
just like that. And this means that this is the weapon for when you're in a vertical place. If you see someone that has one of the previous best weapons in the game, or a diamond sword, or just something where you really don't want to be there by them, what you want to do is you want to get the diamond shovel, because this is the ultimate weapon to kind of cheese someone out of a kill. Because again, he could probably win in combat because he's got way better armor, but if I just keep knocking him down, make him take full, full damage, I can probably negate that win. So yeah, this is the fifth new item in Battle Mini game. Uh, what are the major, ch uh, there's also, it seems like some changed uh, frequencies on armor and stuff. So, you know, basically Battle Mini game is going to be changing. What do you need to know? Well, first of all, you need to know that the new best weapon is a diamond sword, but the diamond sword isn't quite as amazing as it seems on paper, because of course there's the whole uh, durability thing. Uh, the second thing you need to bear in mind is that fire is going to be a serious problem. So fire protection is now slightly more useful and, uh, you know, therefore watch out for fire because, you know, it burns you. Fun fact. Uh, but as well as that, you want to be, I guess, watching out for snowballs because there's going to be more opportunities for people to knock you off high perches. Kind of interesting if you ask me. But then as far as weapons go, yeah, there's a new best weapon. But realistically, uh, the weapons you're going to be want to be using are the new diamond shovel or perhaps even the diamond pickaxe if you get it and you don't get something else. However, my th I think this, the best overall weapon for just killing people easy is either the iron axe or the stone sword still. So there is a there has been some massive changes you want to keep in mind. But they all kind of tie back into the same old system. If you just ignore all the rules, you won't go too badly. You'll just miss out on some of the new best combo pieces, I guess. Which is why I like. I like that there's new things to learn. But you don't necessarily have to, you know, relearn the meta or whatever it is. It's just like, oh yeah, there's new things you can do. And I think that's great. Also, I think it's great that a lot of these did come from either suggestions from myself or just members of, you know, the battle uh, game community in general. And I think it's great that 4J are updating the game to keep it fresh, keep it new, and to justify the fact that, you know, it, it costs like $8 for a season pass or £8 or something. And, you know, that that's that's not cheap, but you know they're bringing. In, oh, the I forgot one of the items entirely. You know what? Let's just let's just roll. Let's just pretend that I didn't. Oh yeah, the golden apple. That's the secret sip uh, uh, <laughs> item I mentioned here. It's, it's, it's because I entirely forgot about the uh, snowballs. Like I learned about them as I was making the video. But yeah, golden apples are the sixth uh, new item they added, and uh, these ones are important because guess what? You eat it. And it gives you two hunger bars, which is kind of nice. But it gives you this, which is way more important. So yeah, have you ever wanted to have uh, about five seconds of regeneration two and some absorption? Guess what? Eat a golden apple and you can do that. So the reality is this is, uh, I think the golden apple is the most important single piece of anything because this changes everything. Like just having a stone sword versus a stone sword, the guy with the golden apple wins. And uh, I think it's kind of nice that there's a new best food. Anyway, <laughs> that's everything you need to know now. Uh, I will be doing a video on some of the secrets from some of the various maps if you guys want to see that. Because again, a uh, Batman mini game has got a lot of cool stuff that they're adding to make it, you know, a learnable thing where if you play it for... Well, that's some, like, golden apple stuff gum. If you play it for a decent amount of time again, you can actually learn some stuff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I've gone on for far too long now. Like the if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know in the comments which of these uh, <laughs> things is your favorite uh, new item, because I know a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, I love the diamond sword, even if you hit whoop twice. Some people are like, that's stupid. I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments down below. Other than that, though, I'll see you all in the next video. So thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye.